Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about Oracle Data Form. What is Oracle Data Form? It is a server based facility for high speed data and metadata movement. Oracle Data Form is callable via DBMS underscore data form package, provides the following tools EXPDP and IMPDP for importing and exporting the data, provides the data access method, direct path and external tables, detach the from and reattach re to the long running jobs. It restart the data form jobs. So, these are the functionalities provided by the Oracle data form. Data form export is a utility for unloading the data and the metadata into the set of operating system file called data file set. So, whatever the data you want to export from table, fine, that you can export into the file called dump file set. Data form import is a used to load the metadata and the data stored in the export dump file into the target system. So, whatever the files you are exporting using data pump export operation into the dump file set that you can use here for the import purposes. A data pump API access its files on the server rather than on the client. Fine, so everything is available on the server, not anything on the client. A data pump differs from original export and import in that all the job run on preliminary server using the server process. So, this everything is done on the server, not anything on the client and this is done by the server process. This server process access the file for the data pump job using directory object. So, here whenever you are using export and import data pump export and import you need to create the oracle database directory object then and then you can use the oracle data pump export and import. So, this is the compulsory. And it enforces the security model that can be used by the DBA to control the access to this file. So, this is providing the more security. If you are giving access to the directory to the any user, then and then that user can access this file. Data pump export and import interfaces. So, following are the interfaces command line, parameter file, interactive command line, and enterprise manager. So, using this four uh, interfaces, you can just perform the your import and export operation. Data pump export and import modes are full, schema, table, table spaces and transportable table spaces. So, if you want to export only table, you can also export only table. If you want to export full database, you can also export this full database. If you want to only export some specific schema like HR spot, that you can also export using this uh, data pump export and import. Also, you can just export transportable table space and also you can just export the table spaces only. Next, differences between traditional import export and data form. Traditional import and export features using in the previous, uh, basically used in the previous versions of Oracle database. Now, what is the difference between import and traditional import and export and data form? So, data form export and import operations are processed in the database as a data form job, which is much more efficient than the client side execution of the original export and import. See, original Ex import export was performed on the client side while this is everything is performed on the server side that is the much more efficient. Next data form op operates on the group of files called dump file sets however the normal export operates on the single file. So traditionally import export only generating one file here data form can generate more than one file using the parallel option. Data form access files in the server using oracle directory traditional export can access the files on the client and the server both not using the oracle directory. So, here oracle directories are not going to be used on the traditional import and export. So, that is not much secure compared to the oracle data form. Data form has a parallel execution but e exp single stream execution. So, here you can use the parallel option which generate the multiple dump file at the same time. Data form does not support sequential media like tabs, but traditional export supports it. So, from the traditional exports, if you want to directly store your files on the tab, that you can do. But in the data form, you can't directly store your data file, dump file into the your tabs. Fine. So, let us see the practically how to perform Oracle data form export and import operation. Let us see practically how to use EMPDP and expdb practically. So, before starting the 
before start using the export and import operation just create the directory so first of all connect sys as a sysdba then create or replace directory emp expdp as a u02 emp expdp and grant then grant a read write ex, emp expdp to scott so first of all just create the physical location of this directory emp expdp this directory you need to create physically so here just export oracle sid ORCL mkdir emp exp dp c then just go to this location emp exp dp now connect to the sql plus as a c as a c dba ORCL password i have given and just create or replace directory emp exp dp and now just give the location so here the location as u02 exp e e emp exp dp so let's see as u02 emp exp dp directory created once the directory is created this is the logical structure the physical directory we already created grant you need to just give the grant to this directory so the user can access so i am just giving the grant for the scott user so grant read and write on directory emp exp dp grant read and write on directory emp exp dp to scott grant succeeded fine once you have given the grant means scott user can access this directory location okay what are the file you have stored in this directory so if you want to see the information related to directory you need to issue the command dsc all directory so here just issue the command dsc all directories so here select the owner fine owner is not required because it's a uh sys user so owner i am not taking directory name i am just taking and directory path i am taking from all underscore directories fine so here you can just see this is the our directory emp exp dp u02 emp exp dp fine now once this task is completed now you are ready to use the exp dp and emp dp so very important thing export the tables first of all i am just exporting the one table like we have a emp table that i am exporting using scott and tiger table so i am just using exp dp dp means data pump fine scott tiger table emp directory emp exp dp dump file uh, where the your binary uh, the data is going to be stored for the emp file in the log file so here exp dp dp squad tiger tables emp directory emp exp dp then you need to take the dump file so i am just taking the dump file fine so just changing this property so now i am taking the dump file so here the dump file equal to emp dot dump fine and the log file i am just taking that is also the emp dot log file fine so here dump file log file emp dot log file fine so here let's see this operation is going on for the exporting the emp table
So here you can see you are exporting the data for the EMP table Scott Tiger table EMP directory EMP XPDP dump file equal to EMP dot dump log file equal to EMP dot log file. So here you can see the everything is going to be exported for the table including data, its grant, its indexes, if any index is created on this table, any constraints are there, any reference constraints are there, everything is going to be exported. And the 14 rows are also going to be exported. So your export operation is completed and you can see the your file is created under the emp.dump file. emp.dump file. Fine. So here you can just go to the physical location. Just check. U02 and emp.dump file. And here, just open this and you can just see this thing. Whatever the things you can see on the your uh, while exporting the data, whatever the log you can see, the same log is recorded under this file. Fine. So later on, if you want to refer this log, you can also refer this log. Fine. So once this table is exported, fine. Next, what you can do, I am just going to this SQL plus Scott Tiger. I am dropping the table EMP. Fine. And from this export file, I am going to import the data. So drop the table is dropped. Fine. Next, what I am doing, exit it. I am using now import operation. Fine. So for the EMPDP, what I am doing, command is EMPDP. So here you can see EMPDP Scott Tiger table EMP directory EMPDP dump file is same, log file is same. So here these things you need to add. Okay. So here it is also there EMP, whatever the table you want to import, directory remain as it is. Dump file will also remain as it is. Log file is also remain as it is. Okay, you can just add the new name to the log file EMPDP. And the table exist action equal to append or replace or truncate or skip. This is the your in case your table is exist, you need to either use this any one option out of this four. So EMPDP So here I am just taking this operation EMP DP. Fine. Scott Tiger table is equal to EMP directory EMP EXP DP and just enter. Fine. So here you can just see this thing. So how many records are there? For M imported 14 records, the 14 row imported. Fine. Even any grants are there that is also going to be imported, index are there, constraints are there, statistics are there, reference content, everything is going to be imported. So let's see SQL plus C as a uh, sorry Scott and Tiger. So even after Scott and Tiger. So here select star from EMP. So here you can see 14 records are there. The table which we have dropped, but we have a E export file is available for the EMP table. From that export file, we have imported the data using EMPDP command. Fine. So in this way, you can export the table, one table, more than one table, whatever the table you want to export, you can just export into single command. Fine. Also, you can import the table. So next is schema export. So the way you are exporting the Table the same way you can export the your schema. So same thing, same command, just replace the tables with the schema. Fine. So let's see this thing. Directory use the same directory. Dump file just change the dump file name and log file. Fine. So let's see exporting the schema. Fine. So here I'm just taking schema. Scott, fine, directory, EMPDP, dump file, Scott, okay, here I need to take the schemas, fine, so this is the operation is going on which is exporting the whole your schema, Scott schema. 
fine so let's see fine so he is exporting the all the table of the schema including the any indexes are there any grants you have given reference constraints are there statistics are there everything is going to be exported Fine. So here you can see the DBT table you have, EMP table you have, employee table you have, employee new, salary grade, bonus, this everything is exported. So in this way, if you want to export the your schema, you can also export the your whole schema into dump file. Fine. So in this session, we have discussed about how to use the EMPDP and EXPDP operation for the tables and for the schema. Thank you.